Welcome everybody, here's your strategy wolf and welcome back to Old World and our Carthaginians. Welcome to Bomilka the Ambitious and yeah, we are on the hunt to the professional army to actually finalize this first scenario of our campaign for an epic victory, uh, victory and I think I uh, owe this to you and yeah, we all want to see that. So we're definitely gonna do this, um, yeah. Just before we jump right into it, because we don't want to want, want to lose too much time over here, um, just kind of organizational questions or announcements. Um, yeah, first of all, there has been a major or bigger patch right now here with Old World. Uh, I doubt it will inflict uh, massive changes on our situation right now, or I just noticed. And also, I noticed, to be honest, that I'm missing now with the upcoming the Pharaohs of the Nile DLC and also the Sacred and Profane DLC that they didn't know of. So for the next scenario, I will definitely download those or get them to have the full game experience. And talking about the next scenario, um, yeah, it was a rough start, but I've seen happily that uh, Old World, my videos are getting some more clicks and some more attention. So apparently there's a couple of you guys um, appreciating them and uh, watching them. So thank you for that. I would really love you to, however, there was basically no comment, so um, it's, it, of course this is a small channel, but I would love you to uh, let me know if you enjoy this one and what you would like to see since this one is coming slowly to an end and I announced I could go and with the next scenario. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this and so on and I definitely will want to, I do want to continue the Carthage campaign. However, um, if there is like wishes or some uh, yeah, stuff from you guys, what you would like to see, if like a majority of your people would be there, oh, why can't you play the new Parano of the Nile uh, campaign or something like this? I would consider that also, maybe to pause this and continue it in some other point. Um, yeah, just let me know if you want to see more Old World and what kind of game you want to see, or if you're happy with this campaign. Um, just like, I want to encourage you to get uh, interactive and engage in some com uh, comments down here. I'd love to see that uh, since, yeah, I would love to talk about Old World with you guys. Um, yeah, I love the game and yeah. Just would it would be high, highly motivating to see some uh, comments and some opinions from you guys but yeah i don't want to stress you too much about this of course you can also like happily silently watch even though i would appreciate it elsewise but yeah um too much talking from my side at this point so let's jump in and uh, we gotta go for uh, the professional army that's basically the last goal we have to fulfill all other 11 goals have been fulfilled already and just to give you a short overview to get there we need to um, get here uh, manor uh, manor or manor and to do so we need to research land colonization composite bow and then this so this is basically what we need to do uh, we will also focus on research a lot that we speed this a little bit up and in the meantime i'm happy to yeah i'm just make our land a little bit nicer and once again i don't know if for the next scenario we're keeping our status as we are right now or build up or if we're starting new for example uh, we will see okay the recent actions of duke kishmat the cruel have called into question the soundness of his judgment he lost one wisdom okay that's acceptable and here we are as regular let's start with our army first however actually not really because we're out of battle we defeated the libyans last turn so there's no threat to await, right, in this invasion, or he just that they came by see the last stand, we also finished off all right. Then let's have a quick look what we can do over here. Ambassador, not really necessary right now. So or we've got only one builder to um, do stuff. Um, is there anything special we want to do? And Jason, resource, okay. Or he recommends a hamlet. Actually, let's get the hamlet out. Or a lumber mill. But we've got extra bonus on lumber mills in the carpenter or in the artisan, right? With the magonets. So maybe I will focus on... Uh, yeah, five. Then we already, like, almost... Uh, due to the ships, I think. Probably due to ships, we have a higher consumption. So actually, let's do some lumber. I don't. I mean, we can buy it anytime. There's no problem. But yeah, these are tiny decisions that don't are not that relevant right now. All right, and we've got our troops here. So I mean, you guys can. Yeah, let's move them all over here slowly. The warband, our elite unit that we just our elite mercenaries that we hired here. Uh, maybe you guys, you are absolutely elite, but 
as long as we don't have a militia over here, maybe we keep them stationed. You never know from what's coming from the Kiranaika, realistically speaking. So in this map, probably nothing, but you know, you don't want to expose your cities too much. And over here, ah, we've been exploring a bit. Ah, uh, yeah, we, this is the end of the map, but let's have a look at... I guess this is Mallorca, so either this is Ibiza or Menorca. I'm not sure. Let's have a little bit of look over here and we've got 11 uh, moves left um he's anchored oh no, yeah okay. now we can go over here yeah let's bring our scout back then over to actually there's nothing to scout maybe may, maybe a little bit down here yeah if we've got orders left he can scout over here since we can't go to sicily you see this is the end of the map and yeah i guess then somebody's gotta protect the harbor of carthage uh, i guess these ships are kind of unnecessary actually this scenario in terms of a military point of view all right here we finished an apprentice so yeah, let's get the extra luxury resource in yeah and build a fisher okay that's already it uh these four are fine for me so let's end the turn and go to the next one Half of King Dowager Nawel, my father, has taken a serious turn of the verse and he's now severely ill. Health of Smorod of Takapi has begun to decline, he's now also ill. Okay, it's time of uh, illness apparently here. Self-assured and assertive, Duchess Arishat, the exotic, ex exudes an aura of confidence. She has gained plus one charisma. Um, yeah, governor is corrupt. Oh, that's bad. And we've successfully exerted the influence upon the patriarch. Okay, so relations with the church are getting better. Uh, let's have a quick look over here. Ah, uh, we can still... Uh, maybe we improve it another time. Okay, disputing teachers. In a shockingly indecorous display, Governor Elisar the scientist publicly fights with Carly's tutor, claiming that the ways of teaching are outdated and stale. Elisar asks for the opportunity to tutor Carly herself in the newest schools of thought, inculcating skills in a child that would really, really push them to greatness. Um, so my heir and he's studying wisdom. Intelligent or insane? That's kind of a gamble, but... Go as experimental as needed. Ah, come on, let's go for it. <laughs> Paying our dues, once again we have to send our uh, tribute to Tyre, um, yeah, Mother City, that's absolutely fine, uh, yeah, no problem, we'll do it with the, uh, um, with the food. Yeah, sometimes I, I told you the guys that I like uh, Old World so much for it scaling super nicely in the late game, so you always keep on having resource problems, I feel like in this campaign, yeah, at least this tribute... I mean, probably the tribute has also, since the, with the growth of Carthage and the, I mean, if in re relation to Tyre they become super powerful, I guess that the tribute also becomes less. So maybe it actually makes even sense. Since I was about, uh, I was about to say, uh, I find this a little bit odd that these amounts for this tribute or for Tyre are so small. But I mean, this is details in a normal game, not campaign-wise. This works pretty, pretty awesomely. All right, uh, we've got the traders. They get net output, yeah, and we need the growth, so we definitely will start with the nets over here. Over here in Hadrumitum, we build a market, okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Something interesting, and yeah, in this case, maybe let's also get just the woodcutters out. Yeah, come on, add the lumber mill out here. We need some that we have a at least a plus once both the lumber mills are finished but yeah as you see we would be in the negative next turn so there will be some some will be purchased anyways but actually let's just buy a hundred for just in case we have got the money so no problem at all okay over here we've got the scalp we were talking about something else oh, yeah, we're scouting here a little bit coastlines oh interesting so here in the balearis there's even Okay, okay, okay. Where's our next scout? Maybe we can actually build a bridge over there. We've got some orders left, so I'll move some ships over here. The, the harbor won't be protected, as I said. Okay, that's gonna be interesting. Maybe something more to discover over here that we didn't expect in the Bialiaris. But probably not that much. The work has been completed over here, so... Um, as always, we'll get a militia out. Yeah. And then at some point maybe walls, just in case, doesn't hurt us. Over here we've finished the apprentice, and 
to be, I wanted to build the one shrine with the adjacency bonus to the pasture. This is probably the only reason or no, 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 stay disciplined, Wolf. We need also more signs. That's what we why we did this, right? So here we get two signs. Two signs, all of them provide from our uh, freedom, I think, is it? The, the one law provides us extra um, for the apprentice extra signs. So actually we can decide which one we want, but we've got tons of money. So I'd rather go for the poet or Aculite. I guess in this case we're going for a poet, yeah. Okay, wonderful. Um, that's already it. Let's jump in the next one. Severely ill, coughing up bloody mucus and suffering from sharp pains in the chest, government Yasmin the Younger fears she does not have much time left. Okay. Amilkar becomes severely ill and Dukishmat has gained one disciplined. Oh, my father recovered nicely. Made an amazing recovery. 71. Oh, my father's real old man. A Tudor mission has led to no end. We'll see this in a second. And yeah, some conversion. Wonderful. And our prince has not become insane, but as but intelligent. Wonderful. And what does this provide? Uh, some ex as governor and as leader, extra research. That's good. How old is he? 16. Maybe we can uh, bring him in as a governor soon already. All right, bystander. One day during lessons with his tutor, Carly hears a clamor beyond the palace walls. A group of urchins chase a terrified cat along the street, laughing and striking it with sticks. Tabi notices her pupil's interest and challenges him to intervene. What does the royal tutor advise? Attack them and drive them away. Distract with a humorous story. Wait until it's safe and nurse the cat back to health. Or do nothing. Urchins will always chase cats. Yeah, as I said, I want wisdom, so and he's intelligent, we will go for this one. Alright, um Let's start off with the builders first. Actually, yeah, I was right. Over here, um we what can we do here? Why would I build the milk watch shrine? Come on. It's stupid to build it here. Let's at least some adjacency bonuses, and I think I'll get it out, why not? Um, Shrine of Melkart, yes. Chopping down the trees also gives to provide some extra and lovely wood for us. Over here we've got... Yeah, and you see here we've got the Magonet family, so we get a massive bonus on our lumber mills. And to make use of this... Oh wait, here's... For adjacent growth, no. Um, I think I'll build a lumber mill also, so in the future we definitely, once they're finished, we're definitely gonna be fine with this. Then actually this turn, since we don't have to move the military so badly, I'll start with the exploration over here. Okay, so it looks like if we want to explore this shrine, which just a nice bonus, I think. We minimally, I uh, think we can leave one and then here one and here one. So uh, or from here, one, two, three gonna be a tough one i don't know we need i guess we'll need all three by rims over there in if we want to have a chance to pass i think i will not build in a, th a fourth by rim just for the transport reason but yeah and i think i can take one of these cavalrists actually or we can just hire new mercenaries so this scout can check out the atlas mountains down here over here um our elite unit i kind of want him back you know would be lovely. But apparently they can't say uh they can't sell already. So let's do it slowly. And that's already it. We ran out of orders. Let's do the production then. And you see the t uh, the turn speed is speeding up since I felt yeah, there's not so much to do anymore. I've got my clear focus what I wanna achieve. So yeah. If you want detailed explanations on what, why things are happening, and, uh, and you're just joining in right now, and I highly recommend you to look, uh, watch this one from the start. I feel like this uh, Let's Play also became, anyways, some kind of tutorial character. So if you're new to this game, you're always like, um, I think you'll learn a lot from. Not, not I don't want to be too arrogant. <laughs> you'll learn a lot from me, but maybe you would. It's, I think it's for sure helpful. Um, here we'll get the we got walls and the militia. So it's time for the rancher now. And yep, 
There we go, and gear, and see what happens next. My scientist is feeling ill, lightheaded, and weak. Um, oh, next, Yasmin the Younger miraculously recovered from severely ill. That, okay, that's impressive. N another amazing recovery, no longer ill, okay. Must be uh, not the worst disease or something, I don't know what's going on. Rule of Wisdom. The people of Hadrometum come to you, King Bomilcar the Ambitious, renowned for their foresight and wisdom to guide Hadrometum to ever greater heights. It's a strong culture event, okay. Four citizens, who? Of civics? I mean, we need civics to some extent. Cannot choose production, cannot hurry production. Uh, at autonomous rule, okay. One year per population. Ooh. Are we granting them some kind of autonomy? Is it? What kind of discontent level do they have? Both are very tempting, to be honest. I would like to discontent to go down. Discontent, not discontent. And I also like the civics plus the extra... Six. Hmm. Okay, we're giving an autonomy. We're focusing everything for a quick, epic victory. So extra, um, some extra research will be helpful. You guys are getting some autonomy. Lovely. Also granting us a lot of civics. So um, first of all, he can be tutored, and we will do this again. Tabiba, please go ahead. And you've been serving very well in this case. And we also can tutor him, so let's do it also once more. Uh, wait. I clicked on my name, not on the button. Okay. So, yeah, I think Carly is going to be a great leader later. We've got the ambassador. No, nothing to do. Um, let's do our workers first. Okay, we finished the lumber mill over here. Then let's get the hamlet out that we wanted. And over here we finished a shrine of Balhamon. Okay. We will be able to build groves in next turn. So I will start with these olives over here and just skip this turn. Alright. And we can bring out some more. Oh, they get some experience in these places. You know, when uh, buildings or tiles light up green that always means when you uh on a unit that means they would gain some experience over here so yeah it's probably a good idea to move in them if they're stationed here to these places greens if you if they stay for longer for the one turn the difference isn't that big but why not if we can and you guys maybe let's focus our on our naval ambition here again <laughs> since we want to become the massive explorers Okay, let's see. Where's the shortest distance? One and ah, uh, I'm really afraid. I feel like it's not gonna work. We maybe we'll need a. I mean, we'll try at least. I'm uh, yeah. I'm, I'm not sure about the amphibious or transport um, rule, 100. So we'll we'll figure it out together. Or like maybe we can le read something over here. Actually. Yeah, just read the text. Naval units can anchor to allow land units to move through water tiles within the naval unit's anchor range. Anchoring takes a full turn to complete, so land units cannot move through the tiles until the unit after anchoring. Okay, and where can I see my anchoring range? Um... I guess it's normally one. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Maybe there's also some kind of um, promotion where I could increase this. Uh, naval units are important, but to be honest, in my game so far, haven't really played such a huge role in uh, Old World that far for me, at least. Uh, so I can't tell by heart. Um, Yeah, we shall see, we shall see. Nothing. Uh, you guys can go up here. Uh, oh, I should have used them. Anyhow, yeah, it's okay. 
yeah, we will have to experiment. Um, once again, I'm not for this one shrine. I'm not building another another ship just for this one because yeah, we have stuff going on. Um, vomiting and diarrhea. Okay, the next one's getting ill, but this sounds like a different disease. Oh, the king has been fallen ill. Um, recent exposures to danger. Duchess Arishat has acquired new phobias and lost courage, and more Carthaginian pagans. Wonderful, and also finished land consolidation. So obviously we're gonna go for military drill. Ah, okay. I'm probably let's have a quick look. Oh yeah, I oversaw that on our way to composite bow. We also need the military drill. So yeah, but one turn. This should be done very quickly. And we've got philosophy studies. Now that Prince Caroly has completed the study of philosophy, how shall he contribute to the court? Um, yeah, I think a judge, right? Yeah, Salad doesn't fit. He's more a general. Now a judge makes so much more sense and brings us really cool features, especially if he's the leader. Civics won't be a big problem over here. Alrighty. Um, and we finished a mine over here. So let's see what we can do in Leptis Magna. Let's maybe build the Shrine of Tanit here for the adjacent resources. This is actually a very good suggestion. Over here we finished some beautiful nets. Um, in this case, I think I'll get a Garrison out so we can also place a governor. Over here we just finished the worker. Um, I'd like to... I feel like this shrine would have been so much better placed over here next to two resources. Yeah, it would be. Why is the suggestion here? Also here I'm gonna build the Shrine of Tanit, I guess. Then we continue over here. We finished a lumber mill in Hadrumitum. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ah, come on, let's give the new autonomy city, autonomous city also a theater. And a grocer, okay. Wow, 83 per year, that's massive. 30% gold, wow. We kind of need this in Carthage. But also, we've got so much money, I couldn't care less at the same time. And here we're gonna build the grove, as promised, to start getting the olives into our, uh, yeah, bag. And here, um, let's just try this. And now we've got like a two... Uh, a two zone gap, but maybe they have all their zones, or maybe two is actually fine. If you know, this has the anchoring range for sure until here, and then this one also here, so maybe this works as a bridge. Uh, you know what? We're gonna hire this Libyan, Libyan cavalry and see if they work next time. They all anchored, so yeah, down here, just doing some scouting. Yeah, you guys, I mean. Now we're building a militia here, and I think you guys can be re go to the main area because you are veterans. We wanna don't want to have you in the province. You guys move up. You guys move up. And you guys also move up. Oh, and we are already out of order, so you actually wait one more turn here. And you guys can go scout the atlas a little bit. Let's build something and once again let's maybe focus on yeah this these days on technology so we're getting the accolade out accolade out and let's jump into the next turn. Okay, the new Median Queen has star Queen has died. Um Umashad has been is now ill. Blah blah blah. Uh, more Carthaginian pagans, wonderful. And we finished the military drill. Unfortunately, yeah, in a normal game for this very, very short, you know, the Chancellor is also wonderful to get one year so quick. Actually, maybe the Chancellor provides us some extra uh, bony when if we get a Chancellor. Uh, let's get the Chancellor. These free ones also sound tempting, especially as Carthage. I would, of course, like to get a free war elephant, but we don't need it right now. 
because we are a um, wise uh, like a scholar, we could re uh, redraw what I rarely do, and we could get the composite bow, which leads us to our yeah, path to glory. But the one year, come on, we want a chancellor. The Numidians have a new ruler, Oxinta, putting our diplomatic relations with the tribe into doubt. Let us reach out to this newly coronated chieftain to ensure renewal of our peace. Um, Oh, come on, 680 gold costs basically nothing, and before we have an unnecessary war to fight right now, rather do that. Okay, time passes quickly. Duchess Aristabal is growing up fast and eager to learn. How would you like to educate her? Now well, let's you go into politics, and we have the age of expansion. Our nation is in the midst of a dramatic and unprecedented population growth, exploding in a way never before in the hist seen in the history of Carthage. Our cities teem with the unwashed masses and their ever-growing consumption and corruption. Distant colonies supply our founding cities, but even with this influx of resources, at times it is not enough and we are forced to buy from others to meet the ever-increasing demands of the populace. How shall we remedy these growing pains? Colonies? We must expand. This is a law, right? We've got uh, referring to a law, we've got colonies. Okay. Um, we must expand our cities and their lands for our citizens. Costs us or provides us orders. Mm -hmm. Expands the cities and helps us in terms of happiness. Cool. We must arm this multitude and wage war, war for more land. Nope, right now not. We must discover new advancements and dedicate ourselves to improving lives. Requires is wise. Oh wow, are oh, perfect. Random technology. Yeah, it's a lot of happiness gained. So uh, yeah, we're gonna do this because we are so wise. We must discover new advancements and dedicate ourselves to improving lives. And we've got phalanx. So yeah, kind of a advanced. Probably have a let's have a look. We can. No, it's not that advanced. No, it's not that advanced, okay. But we can build Spearman now. Spearman, okay. Not really worth, probably, uh, for us in this scenario, but uh, I don't want to complain. Uh, it's free. Um, <laughs> uh, it's definitely not English, but a German phrase would say a gifted horse. You never uh, checked a gifted horse mouth for, like, bad teeth. So, yeah, it was a gift. We're taking it. Uh, all right. Um, for adjacent growth, growth, growth. No, I wanted to build this, this, this. Just f because it's Carthage, we wanted to build the grocer, right? But we actually make more money in Hadrumetum than in Carthage. Holy shit! Uh, but uh, yeah, come on. Doesn't change it anything, and I think this forest here isn't this like a. It's a little bit disgusting. This park in this massive city. Chop it down and build a grocer over here, all right. <laughs> and from... Yes! Uh, ah, our bridge seems to work. I interpreted that the... My quick interpretation would be anchoring range is directly around and if you have like, like this and more like this, there is a consistent bridge. So confirm me if you know it better. Definitely we can go and explore this shrine over here and we've got hungry lore keepers. Our explorers find a family of starving lore keepers encamped in the ruins, surviving on scraps. Pleading for help, they offer to share their mastery of oratory in exchange for food. Will you agree to their offer? We will feed them and learn their skills. Oh, very nice. Or we cannot waste... No, we definitely take also rhetoric, forum one, epics, exploration. Oh, a lot of free technologies this turn. Very nice to see <laughs> Rhetoric. All right. Uh, I don't even know if we shall bring them back, to be honest. And uh, maybe at some point. And I'd rather use the remaining orders we've got to explore a little further. Uh, who else is? Oh uh, yeah, we haven't used. We haven't moved our military yet. Nevertheless, I said I wanted to explore the atlas down here. Uh, yeah, I prioritize this a little bit. And let's finish off. Ah, oh, yes, something. A new la our laws are about to adopt it. Oh, nice. Yeah, this is from Rhetorics. And we've got the civics, so actually no problem. Epics or exploration? 
movement bonus along neutral rivers. We don't have that many rivers. At the same time, we're also not finding a lot of wars. So I think I'll go for exploration. It fits our style right now. This is a mm, mere roleplay decision. Maybe I think we get from... Don't we get like somewhere else some bonus for every lord that's out there? Um, yeah, there is, I think, some kind of law, but not ours, apparently, so exploration it is. Just for the sake of issuing some laws, and then let's move up our last remaining units. Um, yeah, our elites over here. And that shall be it. Uh, no. Alright, and I think this is a perfect point um, after you know, just to end this turn. We've seen like a couple of uh, refreshing new technologies that came in, and we've got yeah, oh, this kind of disease going on. So it was this these couple of turns where we yeah, are focused on, or like the, the illness was pretty, this disease going on on our characters was pretty impressive, but also there was a lot of recovery. We found out about how to properly transport, so some, again, something learned. And yeah. I think this has been a well, interesting turn um, uh, episode, and yeah, we continue next time and hopefully push quickly towards a professional army to finish this first scenario this, of this campaign. I hope you liked it. Um, so yeah, as I said in the beginning, please comment something or let me know what you think, what you want to do, or how you want to see Old World in the future. I would love to get uh, your uh, what you want to, yeah, your information and your wishes. Apart from this, of course, if you haven't yet, leave me a like and a subscription. That would be amazing since it costs you nothing and helps the channel a lot and motivates me a lot thank you for that already and apart from this yeah, see you next time in the next episode bye your strategy wolf